Hey, what's going on? It's Mitch Gonzalez here, and welcome to this video. And in today's video, I have another special guest with me, Khalil Stoltz. And Khalil has a very interesting story. Unlike most of our clients, he actually had a LinkedIn marketing agency. And so he already had a very good knowledge of LinkedIn. He was already doing roughly around $12,000 a month when he first started working together. He had a bunch of clients. He thought he knew the whole LinkedIn game, but he just wanted to up-level his game on LinkedIn, start generating more appointments and get better results for his clients. So he joined our program and now he's at $55,000 per month and he's scaling month after month. And we're gonna dive into how he actually got around all these different restrictions and stuff that are going on with LinkedIn and how he's getting and maximizing the appointments for his clients and getting better results on LinkedIn. So without further ado, let's jump in. Hey, what's going on everyone? I got one of my clients here, Khalil, and just want to bring him on here and showcase his results that he had with us at Executive Advantage. So I guess, Khalil, tell everyone who you are, what you do, and kind of a little bit about your background. Yeah, man. So uh, my name's Khalil, guys. Um, you know, I own a done for you uh, service primarily through LinkedIn, uh, crafting customized LinkedIn outreach for our clients through various niches, starting the financial services space, um, you know, not to niche there, uh, to niche there, um, and then have expanded to, you know, some pretty complex tech, you know, sub niches and so forth. So uh, we have a done for you LinkedIn agency primarily. Um, we also do off LinkedIn follow up as well, is what our offer is, along mm -hmm. with that to book appointments. Yeah. And I guess tell, tell me, everyone, like, where were you at before we started working together? I guess with the way that you were doing the whole process and how you were doing LinkedIn, because you're kind of kind of unique. A lot of our clients do come to us that they already have done LinkedIn. You mm -hmm. already had an agency. You just want to get kind of better results and all that, all that stuff for your clients. So tell everyone where you at before we started working together and kind of yeah. dive into that process. Yeah. So we were uh, roughly doing 12 K a month, maybe 10 to 15 K right in that range um, mm -hmm. on a good month, you know, kind of scenario. So we're trying to figure out how to scale. We're trying to figure out one of our biggest roadblocks was putting the tech together in a seamless, mm -hmm. scalable way for our clients and not just for ourselves, which was a struggle. Mm -hmm. Um, it was like every night at eight o'clock, we had to hit our, you know, hit our tool to go for like all of our clients. So it was just, it was a lot of heavy lifting. Um, and just wasn't succinct, um, which was a big road, uh, kind of bottleneck for us. So we're like, look, we, we got to get some help you know, figuring out that, how to get results for our clients quickly mm -hmm. was another thing, right? So um, all of those things culminated to, look, we need, we got to get some help, you know, LinkedIn specific help, because we were in another big mastermind that most people have heard of um, before, but it, it just, it, it didn't help us dial in the back end, right? Mm -hmm. We're, we're good at client acquisition, we're great salespeople and so forth, but we need help dialing in the, like, you know, client delivery, which that didn't help so much. So you know, I had already been aware of you had seen your material for a while over a, well over a year already. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm like, look, we, we need to go ahead and invest into some help, right? Some more LinkedIn specific help. Cause that's, that's what we do. We're a LinkedIn mm -hmm. firm primarily. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, man, that, that's, that's what triggered it. So it was like, yo, we need help with the tech. So I was like, tell my partner, like, yo, we gotta, we gotta make some moves kind of situation. So yeah. that's what led to it. Yeah, absolutely, man. And then I guess like going through the program and implementing these systems and, and obviously dialing it in for the back end of your, for your clients, I guess, what was that kind of process like? And I guess, what was the main thing that I guess you got out of it? And what was the main, I guess, takeaways and transformation that you kind of seen from going yeah. through it? So one of the big things, the couple big things that really helped us was initially introduction to um, some tools that you provided us um, you know, like at the time it was, you know, you link, um, at that time, which really helped us to scale our delivery because it, it allowed us to have everything in one spot, you know, mm -hmm. managing all the inboxes right in one spot. So that was huge. But ironically, one of the biggest things that helped me personally in fulfillment was seeing how you Mitch actually helped, you know, other clients with the weekly calls mm. at that time, we weren't doing any form of weekly calls and it clicked. I was like, the reason why, you know, everybody else is nailing their own respective campaigns in this program is because they get insight, like mm -hmm. consistent feedback, the feedback loop yep. from you. And that's what clicked for me. Ironically, we got a ton of other benefits from the program, but that just seeing that in front of me clicked for me on how I can get results fast for my client. Cause like the whole process is in my head. You know, yeah. right. It's like, how do I impact my clients the same way? I know I can nail my own campaigns. 
Mm-hmm. That's what clicked. I was like, duh, I'm not talking to my clients, you know, in, mm. in the same way. So it was after that, we got exposed to your process. Mm-hmm. We we're like, yo, we're going to start doing weekly calls with all our clients, which that that wasn't scalable, but it did start to produce results in the right direction, which now we mm-hmm. have a client success director. We got you know, a ton of internal support now so we can we can, uh, you know, relax during the day sometimes. Right. So, yeah. Uh, but it was there were a lot of benefits that we got. Like it, it helped me to further optimize how I target through mm-hmm. LinkedIn. Mm-hmm. Like I had a previous skill set with that, but it just enhanced it from there, mm-hmm. um, which helped my clients a ton as well, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, so it really helped dial in my bullion searches on LinkedIn, which is huge, which is really yeah. huge. So, um, you know, among some other things that I do personally that really help as well. So it got us to the point where like, you know, our, our connection rates are, you know, consistently above 45, 50%. Um, Mm -hmm. but at the same time with the copy, which was another area, it really helped us to narrow in our messaging such that it, for lack of better terms, Mm. pre-filtered we were producing. So like we would, for us and our clients, we would, uh, we would bake in the criteria that they wanted of people to book on the call into the messaging. Yeah. So in essence, it's like whoever responds to this, you know, they meet this criteria kind of scenario. So that helped a ton seeing that in the mess, you know, um, that helped a lot. So, yeah. For sure, man. And so you've, because I know a lot of people there, they get into the space where they're the ones doing all the work themselves yeah. as well. Mm-hmm. And so I guess tell tell everyone how you've kind of built the team, because I know you have like a director that does it. Do you have do you have any salespeople yet? I guess yeah. tell everyone kind of a little bit about that whole yeah. structure that you have in place now. Yeah, man. So uh, I did a few things, you know, differently, like, uh, um, you know, I stayed LinkedIn minded for so and majority of the things that we built came through me creating a campaign through LinkedIn. So I was like, all right, I need, I need a closer. Um, so I created a campaign through LinkedIn to reach out to people who consider themselves high ticket closers, right. To start building a pipeline of, you know, individuals who could close for me. So Mm -hmm. did some interviews, so forth, found someone I felt like was a fit, put them in place. Um, Mm -hmm. what we later did as opposed to relying on them as a complete closer, we started just using them as an appointment setter, i.e. they would field people to get to my calendar. Yeah. Um, so that way, you know, Hey, people who get to my calendar, they're clear on what their our price points are. They're clear on what the criteria is, et cetera. So that way I'm only talking to people who have a higher shot. So, um, Mm -hmm. that was one thing we did differently. Um, we then hired a client success director. Um, my business partner, he's more so on that side of the wheelhouse, if you will, our internal team system. Mm-hmm. So he did that. One thing that also really helped us early on was we connected with a virtual assistant team mm-hmm. that is that actually had like eight to 10 years of doing LinkedIn stuff. Mm-hmm. So it was like a perfect fit because they were already familiar with a lot of stuff. They had insights and so forth. So um, what we did was we took kind of the response template structures that we got from the program. Mm-hmm. And we would craft them uniquely for each of our clients and allow the VA team to just plug and play. play yeah. So it was like, now we got this kind of assembly line, for lack of better terms, created to deliver for our clients and for our internal profiles. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's awesome, man. That's awesome. And I guess in terms of like actual results you've seen from the program, I guess, what, what results have you seen from, from working with yeah. us? Yeah. So uh, like I mentioned, we came, you know, to the program about 12 15 K a month, you know, roughly, um, like I meant, um, the cool thing is, you know, our growth was like super hyper recent, you know, like, like as it was, you know, like in the beginning, uh, I think in January we did about 23 grand mm-hmm. and we went from 23 to 55 in April. Um, so one thing I kind of started doing, I also made a couple other slight tweaks. Um, so one thing I did was started to through LinkedIn, you know, based on what I learned with the program, you know, I started thinking like, what is the highest quality shot I could take on LinkedIn, you know, mm-hmm. and trying to reach, you know, grow my business. And then uh, I kind of boiled it down to saying, look, I'm going to start reaching out to strategic partners who can feed me ideal clients consistently, right? They already mm-hmm. work with someone who I'm trying to work with. They're pre-filtered that no like and trust is already there. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So I started doing that. So not, that's what really spurred, you know, you know, through the LinkedIn process we learned. Uh, that copy, you know, how to, you know, connect with them, you know, filter them out if they're good at fit, you know, better fit or not, mm-hmm. is what really helped us to like, you know, on top of that, see that rapid growth. So yeah. all based on the principles we learned through the program. Absolutely, man. That's killer. Yeah. I love yeah. it. And I guess for you, what was, I guess, what was the most transformative, like transformative 
part of the program? Because I know it was mainly about getting your clients results initially, yeah. but what was like the main transformational part that you're like, this just took me and my team, my business, my life to the next level? Yeah, I, I, I can't underplay this enough. And it sounds so, but I kid you not, just seeing you display um, how to help other people get results. I can't mm. underplay that. That really was that impactful for us. I kid you not, because it, it really opened our eyes to delivery. Um, and I'll put it this way, you know, a friend of mine said that, you know, um, you could get someone perfect results, but getting them perfect results still isn't as good as how you got them results, mm. right? In terms of your retention. And it's, I found that to be so true in an agency. And mm-hmm. you seeing how you helped people, like we would, before we started the program, we see a ton of people like, Hey, I joined in like a week, I got 18 appointments, you know, in this <laughs> niche. And then I'm in this completely different niche and I'm getting similar results. So we're like, okay, there's something he's doing that's impacting people such to where other people are getting results as well like that. So mm-hmm. uh, it, it sounds simple, but I kid you not, that was huge for us. That was huge. That's interesting, man. I've never, never really heard it that way because as you know, from, from us, we're constantly yeah. like trying to get better results in like results, our, yeah. our main like axis is like, how can we get them better results faster, more, prof- more uh, yeah. profound in a shorter amount of time. And like, yeah. we're always I- iterating things, making things better and, and sharpening up. So I guess that also from that observation, I guess you just took it in like, okay, how can we basically reverse engineer that results generating process and then put yeah. it for our clients. So that's awesome. man. But, yeah, so I guess, is there anything else that you found or is there any other, other like tips or strategies or anything that you would, I guess, recommend or that you found that just took things to the next level or that you would recommend to anyone say in our community that's watching this, or that is maybe a prospect that's watching this, that some advice or some things that you'd give them. Yeah. Just per- from my own personal experience, um, you know, really nail down what the cores are in what you do. Like, you know, for us being a LinkedIn agency, especially with the weird stuff happening with LinkedIn, right? Um, one conclusion we came to is like, hey, we're not just a LinkedIn agency because we understand how to target and we understand how to convert targets into interests. That mm-hmm. transcends the platform, right? Mm-hmm. So when you can get really clear on what your value is, you being able to articulate that value is really going to help differentiate you in your market. The other thing I'll say, one thing that has worked amazingly well for us, like I mentioned, is strategic partnerships. Mm. That has been crazy for us. Um, we run seven internal profiles for mm-hmm. our outreach. Mm-hmm. Six of them are going to our respective niches. Mm-hmm. Um, and one of them is dedicated to strategic partnership outreach. And at this point, that one profile is producing 50 to 65% of our revenue each month. So that one profile is doing that much compared to six full out profiles. And it just mm-hmm. shows you, right, the power of strategic partnerships. So, you know, I would say, A, nail down, really nail down what your value is and not just the, not just the method or how you do it, but what is the bottom line impact that it gets for your clients. Mm-hmm. And one thing for us that has been amazing, and we've started to implement something similar for our clients is getting strategic partnerships. Yeah. That's been massive. Yeah, that's awesome, man. And I guess one uh, one of the last questions I want to ask you too is because you had like with the weird stuff that you mentioned that is going on with LinkedIn, how you're able to pivot pretty quick and now you're kind of have a solution where you're getting them results, but you're also like we transcend. And I've always talked about this. You, yeah. You, if you go back to my content five years, four years ago, you'll see I was talking about multi-channel yeah. and leveraging that. So I guess tell me a little bit about how you were able to adapt and like take that mindset of okay, we're not just focused on necessarily one platform, but taking that multi-channel approach. Yeah. So one thing we did is, you know, um, less relying on connection requests, right? Uh, Even on LinkedIn, more in mail and so forth, more email. Um, We as an agency also um, integrated with an appointment setting company um, Mm -hmm. as one of our partners. So like we're also doing off, you know, we're doing phone follow-up, text message follow-up, email follow-up, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Um, through our partners for, you know, into one total solution. And that's been huge as well. So, you know, that diversification has really helped us. Um, Some things that we also did um, to kind of transcend that. Um, I mentioned the strategic partnerships. Um, We also started um, as an agency differentiating ourselves, not just by a retainer model, 
but paying in bulk for a certain amount of appointments. Mm. That's been huge for us. Um, it does a few things for us. It, it feels less risky to clients, so they're more likely to opt in, but it also allows us to charge a premium for mm-hmm. that as well. Um, not to mention the off LinkedIn follow up with phone calls. So it's a lot of high quality touches. Um, and then also selling to our clients saying, Hey, look, we can get you leads or we can get you strategic partners. Mm. And that transition to where it's like, Hey, one booked appointment with this per- type of person could get you four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 clients. Mm, yep. Right. So those kind of, all of those differentiations has allow us, allowed us to charge, you know, a, a fairly, you know, you know, sizable fee per appointment, uh, for making those strategic changes. Yeah. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Yeah. That's great. Great advice as well. And I guess just for anyone that's maybe on the fence or yeah. that is looking to join the program and that sees it, they see these other systems and these gurus out there, I guess, what would you say for the people that are on the fence or looking to join and, and recommend the program to, to them? Yeah, I would say 1000% do it. Um, the level of depth that you'll get uh, with Mitch's processes is, is literally unprecedented. I mean, like to this day, you know, and, and this is coming from someone who's already had expertise with LinkedIn and still saying like, yo, do this. Because even now they're coming up with unique solutions. You know, I won't drop, you know, I won't drop some, I won't drop secret sauce, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> ranging all from the entire process, like ranging from how to target your ideal clients, how to convert them into appointments, how to scale your internal team, right? Mm-hmm. How to get quality sales training, right? All of that's included in the program. So like, if you're looking really, it, I mean, I'll put it this way, like Mitch probably doesn't market himself this way, but he's pretty much giving you a business blueprint in a box, like literally, mm-hmm. like all encompassing one stop shop. So ranging from client acquisition, all the way down to fulfillment, scale, growth, all the things that you probably aren't thinking of in a business right now, because you know, when you're starting out, you don't think like, man, I'm going to have to learn how to hire. I'm going to have to learn and those could serve as bottlenecks if you don't have guidance through them. So mm-hmm. um, Mitch has all of that and then some um, mapped out in grave detail in the program. Like it, I honestly believe, and this is coming from someone who's been through a few high ticket programs. You literally, I don't see really a need for you to have anything else after going through Mitch's program. Yeah. I love it, man. That's what I tell people too on the phone and, and tell them it's yeah. you won't need another program after this. And yeah. I actually had a guy that's funny. He called me literally right before you, before we got on an interview. And he was like, Hey, I just wanted to ask you, like, is it, do you like franchise this? Cause it seems like you cover everything. And I'm like, well, yeah, like essentially like a franchise, you come into it and it's going to be customized to you so you can scale. Right. That's yeah. what's like what had McDonald's scale. That's what, um, I was just Chipotle, all of right. these clients, you know, Funny enough, yeah, it's like systematizing things and it's like you're plugging into it and it's like a well-oiled machine that you can yeah. just plug into and scale. Right. I love it, man. You are the uh, the Ray Kroc of prospecting, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to really like scaling and growing the business. But yeah, absolutely, man. I'm I'm excited, and I want to get on another interview when we get you to 100k a month, which I know is yeah. coming soon. Yes. And awesome, brother. Well, appreciate you hopping on and getting you some more results, man. Appreciate you, man. So hopefully you found massive value in this interview. And if you want results like Khalil, you want to scale your business, generate qualified appointments without spending any money on paid advertising, or you want to learn paid advertising, we'll also show you that and build a commission only sales team to scale your business to a hundred thousand dollars a month, all the way up to a million dollars plus per month. So if you want results like this, you can go below, book a live demo with myself personally, and I'll get on a phone with you. I'll show you the back end, what we have, our program, and see if it's a good fit and help you scale your business. So that's it for this video. Hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.